All right, guys, we have a $10 million federal lawsuit against the Rialto Police Department. I'm going to show you some news clips. And we have Janice at Birdcage Inc. who's going to narrate the story for you guys. I'll drop the link in the description so you guys could check out the news article which has the video in there. I had to block it out for certain reasons here on YouTube. One thing I want to point out before you guys watch the video is even if the girl wins the lawsuit, where do you think that money comes from? The officer who committed the battery against her or the department? No, folks. This is a wake-up call. The money comes from you, the taxpayers, from the constituents. This is an unsustainable system. Here's your video, folks. We're here yet again at the scene of yet another agency acting poorly and they've been caught on camera. It happened on Friday near Linden and Pinedale in Rialto. $10 million federal lawsuit from teen girl violently arrested by Rialto PD. In February of this year, a 16-year-old teenage girl whose name has not been released to the public was arrested for riding a minibike. The arrest was caught on camera and Officer Ivan Delgadillo is seen placing his hand on the girl's throat. Delgadillo can be heard asking the girl if she tried to bite him. Video footage shows the teen girl crying and pleading with the officers that she did not attempt to bite him. The escalated arrest resulted from accusations of refusing identification and being uncooperative with officers. However, transcripts show her telling the officers, I'm communicating with you and asking for her brother on multiple occasions. Delgadillo is shown throwing the girl to the ground and placing his hand on her neck while she pleads to bystanders. Officer Zamora did not intervene in this arrest. On May 4th, the family filed a federal civil rights lawsuit seeking $10 million in damages and release of the body cam footage to the public. According to the lawsuit, Delgadillo repeatedly cursed at the girl and questioned her sexuality, which created a negative tone for what could have been a deadly encounter. The lawsuit filed alleges excessive force, conspiracy, battery, and negligence. Delgadillo can be seen throwing the girl into the vehicle after the initial arrest. Although police chief Mark Kling has not released body cam footage to the public, he has issued an investigation into the issue and placed Officer Delgadillo on paid administrative leave. There has been no statement on the status of Officer Zamora, who is accused of conspiracy for, as stated in the lawsuit, attempting to cover up the brutal battery. There has been no further public information released regarding the court proceedings. This officer who abused my client threw her down viciously and choked a child. If you choke a child, you should be relieved of duty right now. And I'm speaking directly to a supervisor's. She was released from Juvenile Hall this afternoon, her mother only saying a few words. I'm just happy to have my baby back, and that was my main fight from the time that I arrived at the station, just to release my baby and to have her home. That's the greatest feeling right now for our family. In Rialto, Rob McMillan, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. We gotta understand something, folks. Lawsuits don't come from the pockets of the police officers who violate rights or brutalize somebody. It doesn't come from the department, it comes from the people. Also, when cops need a lawyer, we also pay for that lawyer. But when you need a lawyer, you also pay for your own lawyer. How is this any kind of fair, folks? There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes in policing that we don't know about. Mainstream media news won't tell us these things. For instance, the biggest payout in police brutality history did not go to the George Floyd family. It went to the Elijah McClain family. Why do you think that is, folks? You guys should do some research on that. And this is why we're going to start doing more videos regarding lawsuits because it's important to understand the magnitude and the impact that bad policing is having on the people. Is this a simple problem that we can fix that will ultimately save many lives, including police officers? I believe so. I believe everybody should be recording at all times, having dash cams and body cams. These technologies are very inexpensive and they can save you a bunch of turmoil when having to deal with police. With that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video. We'll make sure to leave updates as we find them. All right, guys, have a blessed day.